Today, I'm going to show you how to play any DirectX 9, 10, or 11 compatible games like the Dead Space Trilogy in stereoscopic 3D in VR with the Oculus Rift CV1. This is as close as you will get to playing games like this in VR unless we see an official release, and it is an extremely immersive experience when set up correctly. I've played right through multiple games including Dead Space, Transformers Fall of Cybertron, Tomb Raider, Quantum Break and more with this setup. And where I was mildly impressed before when playing them on a flat screen, in 3D I was absolutely blown away. And today I'm going to show you how you can set this up. So stay locked, crush that like button, enjoy and I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ bringing you reviews, tutorials and game clips minus the sh** you can follow me on Twitter at facepalm with a one not an L as for here on YouTube if you like what you find then like comment and subscribe don't forget to bring your game face let's get it done so as I mentioned this will work with any DirectX 9 10 or 11 compatible game so older games like Dead Space right through to the new Tomb Raiders or even the Steam version of Quantum Break so before we kick off I wanted to make a quick note that if you are using the Oculus recommended Inantech USB 3 expansion card make sure you are using the Windows Fresco drivers for this card as they are by far the most stable so to make sure you are using the Windows Fresco drivers right click on the start menu icon in Windows 10 and choose device manager once there, look down to the Universal Serial Bus Controller section and expand that drop down menu if it isn't already. Now, if it says Fresco Drivers Windows, you're good to go. If it has another entry, then right click and click Uninstall. Then restart Windows, and Windows will install its own default Fresco Drivers when it restarts, which is what we want. Now that that's all good to go, we're going to need a couple of pieces of software in addition to the game that we want to play, which is in this case is the Steam version of Dead Space, though the standard version of Dead Space will work also in the same way. So the additional two pieces of software required here are TriDef 3D and either Virtual Desktop or Big Screen. TriDef is a paid software, though you can get a 14 day free trial, which is plenty of time to play right through a game if you want to try this all out before you spend cash on the software. And TriDef 3D is the software that will convert our game to an SBS, aka side-by-side -side image on the fly. Then the software that will recognize that SBS or side-by-side -side image and make it appear 3D in VR is either Virtual Desktop or Big Screen. Virtual Desktop is a program you have to pay for that you can get from Steam or via the Oculus Store. And this is my preferred program for gaming as I find it a little more customizable and the visual quality is a little higher. On the other hand, if you're on a bit of a budget, you can use the free Big Screen software which can also be found on the oculus store and in all honesty i actually find big screen to be just as good in most ways and definitely worth the price of admission so first let's get the tridef 3d software so go to google and search for tridef 3d click on the top link here that will take you through to the tridef web page scroll down a little and under tridef 3d Click this download link to download the free 14 day trial. Then go ahead and install it to your PC in the default install location. Now it's as simple as getting the virtual desktop or big screen software to bring our game to life in 3D. So you can search for virtual desktop, which is my recommended choice for gaming, on either Steam or through the Oculus Store. And big screen can be found on the Oculus Store if you want to use that. And once you've decided on which one you want to use, go ahead and install it. And once you have installed both TriDef 3D and either Virtual Desktop or Big Screen, we need to create a shortcut to our game on our desktop so that TriDef can locate it once we are ready to go. So if you have the Steam version of Dead Space or whatever game you are trying to be playing in 3D, open up Steam, go up to where it says Library and select Games. Then go down to the game you want to create a shortcut for and right click it. Then select Create Desktop Shortcut. 
If you are using a non-Steam version of the game, navigate to the install folder of the game, locate the EXE and create a shortcut for that. Then drag that shortcut on out to your desktop. Alternatively, some games will just drop a shortcut on the desktop when you install them initially. If they do, then you can just use that. The next thing we need to do is to tell Tridef 3 d which game we want to play in stereoscopic 3D. To do that, open up Tridef and you will get this option page show up. Click on the icon that represents the content you intend to view in 3D. For us, it will be this Play 3D Games icon, which looks like a game controller. Now a window will pop up, and in this window, we are going to add a game. So double click the Add a Game icon and choose add a game manually. Then under where it says desktop shortcut or executable, go over to the right and click this browse button. Now direct the window to the desktop shortcut we created earlier and click open. Then go ahead and click next. Tridef will now search for a settings preset that has been designed specifically for the game you just added. For example, if we scroll on down a little bit, we can see that Dead Space 2 is in here. And so we would click that if we were playing Dead Space 2. But if the game you are playing is not in this list, such as Dead Space 1, we need to click this little link here. And this will set up a generic Tridef 3D profile for our game. To be fair, I've actually used this generic setting for every game I've played in 3D with Tridef, and they've all worked great. So don't be shy to use this generic setting. And when you're ready, click the finish button. Once that is all done, our game will appear here in this list. And if we right click it, we will see a launch option come up. But before you do that, first start up either virtual desktop or the big screen software. In virtual desktop, set the slider to max screen distance and set the screen size to between 150 and 170%. You can experiment with the screen size you prefer, but for me, 164 was easy on the eyes and big enough to create an engaging and immersive experience experience. Copy all the other settings you see here, and if you want, you can also engage this MSAA times 8 box if your PC is up for it. Notice also this shortcut for half SBS here, which is F7. You can also set the environment to whatever you want, but for me, I like the none environment to get the most immersion possible out of this experience. Alternatively, if you are using big screen, go down to this view your desktop on the big screen icon, choose the middle option option and then note the shortcut for the SBS mode here which is F6. If you remember it was F7 in virtual desktop but in big screen it's F6. Again choose your environment. For me I like the void. The last thing you can do is go down to the settings menu and under graphics and quality you can set this to a higher or lower quality depending on your PC's capability. I run a GTX 1070 with an i7 CPU and I have no problems running this at max with 1.5 super sampling. Now go back to the Tridef menu and either double click on a game icon or right click it and select launch. This will open the game in SBS aka side by side mode and you'll see the split screen type view on your computer's monitor come up when the game loads. You can now place the rift on your head and press the half SBS shortcut we noted from virtual desktop and big screen which was of course F7 for virtual desktop and F6 for big screen and boom you'll now see the game in 3D on a big ass screen in VR and once we make some final tweaks you'll be good to go. So you'll notice that in 3D the default mouse sensitivity can be a little slow so in the dead space settings menu for example set your mouse sensitivity to max or experiment with different sensitivities if you prefer. I myself found that the max settings was a good value to use in this 3D environment but it's up to you. Also while we are here, let's crank up the graphics settings so that everything looks as good as possible. Obviously, depending on your graphics card, you may have to dial the settings down a little bit, but with older games and a half decent card like a GDX 970, you should be able to max this game out. As for movement in game, a little tip I can give you is to try and teach yourself to turn your head in time with the mouse movements, as this can create a more immersive experience. Also, as a side note here, any screenshots you take while playing a game in 3D mode with Tridef 3D will be saved as a SBS screenshot. What this means is that if you then take that screenshot and view it in big screen or virtual desktop using that F6 or F7 shortcut, then you will see those screenshots in 3D, which is pretty damn cool because you know, who doesn't like 3D screenshots? 
So to recap, we've essentially opened our game in Tridef to convert it to a side-by-side -side image, then opened up Virtual Desktop or Big Screen so we can view that side-by-side -side image in eye-pleasing 3D. Simples. And so you should now be winding your way around the Ishimura, Sebastopol Station, Cybertron, or many other worlds whilst trying your best to not shit your pants or talk excessively about this experience to your friends. So if you like this video, then crush that like button, ask any questions in the comments below, subscribe if you wanna, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. Just remember you can follow me on Twitter at Face Palm with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. But don't forget to bring your game face. Face Palm out.